welcome to another edition of the Kilted Home Center. So the uh, video I sent, uh, there were some people that had messaged me and sent me things asking me uh, why I did not uh, try to do the tap into that bolt under power, uh, like power tap using the uh, mini mill to, to basically run the tap into the bolt versus doing it by hand. So I did a little research on how to do it and I wasn't sure if this uh, mini mill would have, or excuse me, mini lathe would have the uh, ability to do it. So we're gonna try that today. Um, I experimented a little bit earlier. It does have work, but it, it's not as easy as it may sound to do. But we're going to go ahead and try it and see if this mini mill has, or excuse me, mini lathe has the ability to turn a tap into a piece of metal. Uh, this is only rated at uh, 0.7 horsepower, so not even three quarters of a horsepower. It has a lot of uh, power to do the jobs that I need to do, but uh, power tapping is a little bit different of an operation. So we're going to try that today. All right, so what, with power tap, what you need to do, first you have to have your pilot hole drilled. Uh, this is again, the number three ta uh, drill bit that we used to, to drill that hole for the tap to go into. Then you secure the tap into the um, chuck right here. And what you're gonna do is your tail stock, instead of locking it into place like we did with the drill bit where you can't move it, you have to leave it loose so it can slide and be drawn into the workpiece by the, uh, the head as it's spinning at a slow speed, and then it basically will thread the tap into that uh, piece of metal right there. This is just a one inch piece of rebar that I had that we're using, not rebar, uh, universal thread rod that, that I'm using um, to try to thread this into that. And we're gonna see if that works. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our, um, keep the tail stock uh, loose, just to have a little tension, but you wanna be able to, this to be able to be drawn into the headstock. And then we're gonna get our, make sure our motor's going in forward, which it is. And then we're gonna turn this at a slow speed. Once you turn it on. And then we're slowly gonna to try to walk this in so it starts to thread and tap. And then you can see there, it started to, and then it started spinning the tap. Probably a different type of tap I need to be using, but we're gonna go ahead and reverse it and try pulling it back out. That's just spinning there, so we'll have to stop it. And we'll loosen our chuck up, and then we'll pull the tap out manually. All right, so that's out there. Now we have to thread the tap out. Let's actually, you know, let's try this again here. I'll try tightening it down since we're backing out. It shouldn't have as much problems. Let's try tightening it down. Let's see if that works to help bring it back out. And then of course, keeping our tail stock loose. Still not having, and we're just gonna slowly go back with it. Reverse. Push the wrong button again, there we go. There, now it's pulling it back out. See it threading it back out? Right there. So it did thread in. So now we'll see how we did. Here's our grease fitting. Obviously we're not leaving a grease fitting on here. And we're gonna see how we did with threads. And it worked. It's a little burrs in there but it's going in, it's threading in. So obviously we can see that it is possible to power tap uh, with the mini lathe with a quarter by 28 thread pitch. So in the interest of seeing the capabilities of this machine, I'm gonna go up a size on the taps and see if we could tap an even bigger tap in because at that point, the mini lathe is gonna have a little less advantage when you start going to a bigger tap in that hole right there. So I'll drill out to the next size bigger and then get the next size bigger tap and we'll try and see if that is able to thread. Okay, now we're going up to a 5 16th tap. Uh, this is a 5 16th by 24 tap and we're gonna see how that does in this situation. So we're gonna go forward at a moderate pace. We have our tail stock loose and we're just gonna slowly push this into the workpiece. And it looks like that doesn't have enough power 
to, to uh, power tap a 5 16 bolt. It's too much, too, not enough power to pull that into it. So, you know, that's nothing to be ashamed of. This is still a very effective lathe, but obviously this type of tap is not doing well to be pulled into this, uh, this uh, bolt in order to thread it. Now I know there are different types of drill taps out there that are work, but just a regular standard tap that I have in the shop in this situation is not able to work. But it was worth a try and it was worth an effort. And honestly, as inexperienced as I am as a machinist, I'm not, again, like I said, I'm not a master machinist. Um, I'm okay with that. I actually would rather tap by hand just because I like to have the feel and to know what's going on. If we were doing a, a big precision operation where, you know, I was threading hundreds of these a day or wanting to, then maybe we'd want to do something different. Of course, then we'd have a different type of a lathe too to be working on. So this is just a small little experiment to try. It's still a very effective uh, way of, of tapping the holes or just give me drilling the holes. But as far as putting a power tap, in my personal opinion, for my application, I don't think it's very feasible in this type of situation. Again, that's not to take away from the mini lathe and its capabilities. I'm just being honest and truthful uh, that in my situation, it's not going to work very well. Well, thank you for tuning into this very short episode of the Kilton Homesteader. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like our videos or enjoying the videos, please, I encourage you to please subscribe to our channel. And also, if you want, uh, hit the notification button. That way you're notified of any new videos that we have coming out. Thank you again and have a blessed day.